we want to take a look at how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide with functions. And so the only thing we have to remember is that if we're adding two functions, then we, it's the sum of each function. So the best way to do this really is to show you how to do it rather than trying to speak about f of x and g of x and adding this and adding that. So what I've done is we have f of x is x minus 5 and g of x is x squared minus 1. So if I want to find the sum of f plus g, I'm going to add the functions together. So that simply means I've got my f of x, which is x minus 5, and I'm going to add to that x squared minus 1. And then I just need to simplify. That would just give me x minus 5 plus x squared minus 1. I want to combine like terms, so I'm going to get x squared plus x minus 6. Now I have that. Do you think that we should go ahead and do it any farther? The answer is no. That's all you have to do. Now I need to find the domain. That's the whole purpose of all of these. And so for the domain, we looked at an example where if there is not a denominator, remember it's all real numbers. So it's going to go from negative infinity to positive infinity, not including them. So now what happens if I want to do an actual subtraction? It's going to be the same kind of thing. Again, it's going to be the x minus 5. Only this time I want to subtract the x squared minus 1 which is going to give me x minus 5 minus x squared plus 1, which gives me minus x squared plus x minus 4. And again, there's no denominator, and without a denominator the domain is always real numbers, so it's just going to be again from negative infinity to positive infinity.